Good evening. I'd like to call the regular monthly order, monthly meeting to order. Would everyone please rise for the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to gather this evening and for the opportunity to do work on behalf of the children of St. Bernard Parish. Guide us in our decision making so that we may continue to put the needs of our students first and help us to do the things necessary to continue to serve them and this community in a way that truly addresses their needs. These things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Mr. Wong, would you lead us in the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Roll call, please, Ms. Voce. Ms. Acevedo. Here. Mr. Campbell. Here. Mr. Egan. Here. Ms. Jackson is not with us. Ms. Lemoyne. Here. Mr. England. Here. Ms. Dysart. Here. Mr. Long. Here. Mr. Smith is not with us. Mr. Warner. Here. And Ms. White. Here. Thank you, Ms. Voce. First item on the agenda or super news. Good evening, Ms. Schneider. Good evening, folks. So glad to see you guys here tonight, dry. Um, it's good to see you. So we will be with you again at the first meeting in April. And at that meeting, we will be uh, giving you a updated communications report for March and April, which we're really excited about with all of the wonderful things happening from the vaccine uh, to the stipend being approved this evening, hopefully. Um, we'll be able to include all of that in our upcoming communications report. Uh, I know most of you, and I think Barry left something up here, we were able to see yeah. little Miss Emma Nunez um, and so many of our Teachers of the Year, along with a couple of other really wonderful spotlights. Um, Mr. Warner, Dr. Warner in here. So it was just a really wonderful shout out to our school community. Um, and with that being said, we have one other important announcement um that is very exciting and very super and i think miss voce has something she wants to add if barry wants to help her out with that okay this evening i have whoa i thought it was really it's wet yep. a presentation to make <clears throat> and i'd ask miss shelby benizek to come on up please what? Oh. yes 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 <laughs> you know every year we honor why don't you come in the front here we Every year we honor our Teachers of the Year and our Support Employees of the Year. And Shelby is the Support Employee of the Year for our Administration Office. And we would just like to present her, but you got to be careful. Because Larry, let us get, get, get all wet, and I'm afraid it's going to, um, that aren't they beautiful? Oh, thank you, and my goodness. Beautiful. You may want to get it from and the thank bottom. Thank you very much. And I just thought we could do it tonight, and uh, Alex <laughs> gave me the idea here. And thank you, but thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate your service very much. Congratulations. Shelby does an incredible job, yes, uh, not yes. only in running the office here, in coordinating lots of events throughout our school system, and uh, I think everybody knows Shelby, obviously, and she does a lot for the board members I know around this horseshoe and a lot for the people within this building and within the school system itself so congratulations shall be very well thank deserved you very very okay. much thank you very much very much appreciate it congratulations okay. again shelby thank and all of us appreciate everything you do every day thank you so much you're always available <laughs> always to us a pleasure. and we appreciate it thank you okay, okay. okay. thank you miss voce all right. uh without further ado we're going to actually start this month's super news and now, from the desk of the superintendent's office, it's time for Super News. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Alex Schneider. And I'm Barry Lamorne, and welcome to Super News in Lacoste Elementary for our March 2021 Super News, where we highlight some of the good things happening in our school district. We'll kick things off with some big news, the vaccine. In less than two days, the St. Bernard Parish School System administered 600 vaccines to school district educators throughout the parish, making us likely the first to vaccinate all interested employees. In fact, district leaders estimate that these efforts, along with previous vaccinations, will result in nearly 70% of employees within the school system being vaccinated. We truly thank the heroic work that all of our school employees have been performing over the last year. Hopefully, with this mass vaccination effort, we will all feel more comfortable as we continue to provide the best possible education for all of our children. Thanks to the Department of Health, the nursing students from Nunez and Holy Cross, and especially the Methodist Health Foundation, who operates our school-based health clinic at Shelmond High School and who helped make this milestone event possible. And you know, Alex, I am so happy about the vaccine. I feel like Alexander Hamilton. You know, I'm not going to throw away my shot. <laughs> and speaking of the Methodist Health Foundation, prior to Mardi Gras, this amazing organization donated 500 boxes of week's worth of shelf-stable meals for families within our school community. The Methodist Health Foundation plans to continue its support of families in St. Bernard and will be donating another thousand boxes this semester. As one of our most generous partners, we are so grateful for the Foundation's continued work to help our students and our community. In other news, members of the St. Bernard Parish School Board recently traveled to Shreveport, Louisiana for the annual Louisiana School Board Convention. Here, school leaders from across the state meet to discuss challenges in education and to participate in a variety of educational seminars. Thanks to our board members for providing their leadership, service, and support for our district. We will also give a special shout out to the school board as they were recently named by the St. Bernard Chamber of Commerce as the best business pivot of the year. This award went to the school system for facing the challenges of 2020 head on and completely changing how schools do business. They were resourceful and resilient throughout the pandemic. Support was also at the heart of a recent visit to one of our schools when the Louisiana Department of Education's Chief of Staff, Dr. Quintina Tamal, spent a day at CF Raleigh Alternative School. Her visit allowed her to see firsthand how our staff at Raleigh is removing the barriers to learning and providing support through its varied partnerships. The teachers at Raleigh really rock it. And now, let's go inside to Lacoste Elementary to meet its Super News team. Hello and welcome to Lacoste Elementary. I'm Rebecca Irby. And I'm Elise Bloom. Thanks for joining us today for our On Location Super News segment. We'll start things off with a visit to a strange place, our Insectarium. After our second grade students finish their insect unit, they host an Insectarium for the school. These entomologists became experts on a variety of insects, including roaches, ants, ladybugs, fireflies, flies, and bees. I guess you could say, the secondary teachers were really bugging them to learn. <laughs> In other news, Mr. Dugas, our music teacher, offered something new this year, the virtual Christmas concert. The students learned songs that were assigned by him and created a virtual course concert, which was showcased during the holiday season. Carnival time was also a fun time at our school. No parades, no problem, as our Lacoste Bulldogs mamboed on down throughout the day to win cake cakes. We also honored our royal court maids and dukes as each grade level represented a parade. Thanks to everyone who made this event possible and in keeping us safe. I guess you could say it was a true mask parade. Mask and costumes were also part of fun this month when our school celebrated Dr. Seuss. As a part of literacy salute to his many works, students and teachers dressed up like some of his zany characters each day. We even had community leaders serve as our special virtual guest readers. It was a great way to celebrate our love of literacy. Well, that's about all the time we have here at Lacoste. But before I go, I want to congratulate our student of the year, my co-host, Elise Blue. Thanks, Rebecca, and thanks to all of you for joining us here. From all the Bulldogs here at Lacoste, we'll see you next time. Bye! Nice job, Bulldogs. 
Our school board also received a million dollar visit at a recent meeting when Shelmet High School's five Posse Scholars visited. Teachers and coordinator David Ballard was also on hand sharing the Posse process and the pride that they bring to the district each year. Each of these five students was awarded a four-year full tuition scholarship valued at $200,000. Hi, I'm Angel Lee. This is only my second year at Shelmet and I'm a senior. I was at Bell Chase for my freshman and sophomore year before this. So I wasn't expecting to just do like so well at a school that like I really didn't know everybody and like I was just afraid that I was going to struggle because I didn't know the coursework, I didn't know the teachers, but thanks to Mr. Villard, like he really, really helped me out and like he, if anything, he helped me like see the best side of myself. This is the second year in a row that we've had this many students awarded these prestigious scholarships and the seventh year in a row that at least one Shelmet High School student has received a Posse scholarship. Congratulations and we know you will represent us well next year. Congratulations also goes out to our support personnel winners at each school site. These folks are true team players, working behind the scenes in support of our students. These winners will also be celebrated along with the student, teacher, volunteer, and parent of the year in our district's upcoming virtual banquet next month, which truly celebrates our school community. And now we'll head to Miro and to Trist Middle School for its super news segment on location there. Hello, I'm Denia Spriggins. And I'm Torn DeSell. And welcome to Trist Middle School, home of the Pirates, where our treasure are the people and the programs of our schools. We'll kick things off with some exciting art news as 7th grader Emily Brown's artwork was selected as the middle school district winner for the Louisiana School Boards Association contest. Emily will represent St. Bernard at the state level and has a chance for her artwork to be displayed at the Capitol for one year. Congratulations, Emily. And now we'll go from art to music and a great thing that came from the pandemic is the growth of the piano program in our schools. Besides being a safe option for students, it has also provided to students an opportunity to learn this lifelong skill. As our music teacher, Mr. Jaber, says, the difference between a good musician and a great musician is a great musician who knows piano. Piano students are allowed to bring home one of the many keyboards our district has so graciously purchased for each student to borrow for the year free of charge. Talk about music to our ears. And now we'll salute a special flag project here at school. In 2010, on the fifth anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, our school's Builders Club purchased a flag that once flew over the nation's capital. But since the school year has been such a challenging one, we decided to ignite a new tradition. With a the theme of hope, strength, and love, our special flag was taken out of its home in the library and raised in front of our school. Trist eighth grade students, Cooper McNamara and Cadence Detwiller, have taken on the daily responsibility of raising the flag in the morning and taking it down at the close of each school day as a daily reminder of the power of hope. This theme was also the focus of our school spirit week this year as we raised over $300 to help in support of the Susan G. Komen Foundation and its research on a quest to cure breast cancer. And speaking of quest, our Quest for Success students recently created vision boards using artifacts from their self-assessment, personal brand exercise, learning styles exercise, leadership exercise, and other resources collected during the unit. Potential careers, personal interests, and reflections on their strengths and values were all part of the exercise. The vision board used pictures, images, and quotes that inspired them or helped them represent their personal career goals in helping them become the best version of themselves. Our last story for today centers on science as sixth grade teacher Sarah Chapman uses hands-on learning in her class's study of magnetic fields and forces. The students use magnets of different sizes and shapes to see how magnets and magnetic fields work. They also use a variety of materials to determine which types are magnetic. I really enjoy this kind of work. I guess you can say that I'm attracted to magnets. I guess. We're out of time here, but before we go, I wanted to give a shout out to my co-host who was named as the Parish Watt Middle School Student of the Year. Congrats, Torrin. Thanks. And thank you guys for tuning in. Now back to you guys. Good job, Trist. And before we go, we wanted to share a quick video. 
that was done for the LSBA, which highlights our district's very active reading association. Enjoy it, and we'll see you next time on Super News. Bye. The St. Bernard Reading Association certainly believes in our public schools and its shows through its many literacy, educational, and philanthropic initiatives. We have one of the largest memberships in the state and promote and support reading research, reading development, and the advancement of literacy in St. Bernard through outreach and mentorship programs for teachers, students, and families. Community is at the heart of this group's efforts, providing resources and opportunities that will directly guide and impact the students of St. Bernard Parish. Community leaders serve as guest readers in all of our schools. Professional authors share their time and talent with students in and out of school. Our association coordinates all of these efforts in an attempt to foster family literacy. Older students also serve as mentors to younger students through partnerships and after school literacy events and tutoring. The association also honors and promotes exemplary writing through its Young Authors Awards. Excellence in fiction, nonfiction, and poetry are celebrated and winning entries are published in a statewide anthology. Like my story, In the Clouds was last year. The St. Bernard Reading Council also gives back to the community in other ways, as seen in its donations to local food pantries and charitable organizations. For the St. Bernard Reading Council, it's not just a slogan, it truly lives its mission that Literacy connects, connects us, us all, all together. together. On behalf of Shelmet High School and our partner, the St. Bernard Reading Association, we thank you for watching our video. Thank you, Ms. Schneider. That was some super, super news. <laughs> Everything um, was, the, the student, our students just do an excellent job um, on everything, and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anyone um, else on super news? Okay, thank you. Okay. Next item is a motion to incorporate the report of the March 16th, uh, 2021 General Committee meeting into the minutes of the March regular monthly meeting. So moved. There's a motion by Mr. England, second by Mr. Warner. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is a motion to approve the minutes of the February 23rd, 2021 regular monthly meeting as published on March 12th, 2021. Motion by Ms. Lemoyne. Is there a second? There's a second by Ms. White. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is a motion to approve the Head Start continuation application. This was a recommendation by the committee. So There's a motion by Mr. Long, seconded by Mr. Campbell. Any discussion? Ms. Votang? I just want to point out that along with that, we are getting ready to um, register do pre-registration for our universal four-year-old program for next school year and it's by appointment only we've got the flyers out you can find the information on the website you would just have to call and make an appointment you'd be told what to bring with you and it should be a very easy process so um, all of you out there who have potential four-year-olds children who will make four prior to September 30th be uh, looking for that information and please come and enroll your children with us for a tuition free four year old program in our school systems this coming year. Thank you, Ms. Foche. And also, we, um, we mentioned at the committee meeting how excellent of a program um, we have in pre K for, and uh, Dr. Rav and all of mm -hmm. his staff and teachers. 
are just wonderful. So we're very fortunate to have, we were one of the first to have a universal pre-K-4 program and we're very blessed to continue to offer that to our, um, our students. Okay, thank you. Um, one, so we need to vote uh, on the application. Oh, Mr. Long? Brief question. Uh, mm -hmm. Talking about pre preschool, Ms. Foche, um, I know years ago we had a, pre a three year old program. Um, and, um, but I think the, the state cut it because of uh, funding. Actually, we still have a three year old program for students with disabilities, and we've had that. Uh, forever mm -hmm. the we were right before Hurricane Katrina we were slated to start a three-year-old early Head Start program um, at one school it was running as a little pilot and the Monday and <laughs> that Monday was going to be their first day um, attending and we have not been able to resurrect that program because of funding the funding situation uh, so it was our intention at that point not to serve all three-year-olds in st. Bernard but to look at specific groups in fact and, and just a I guess a little story um, uh, we all remember Sharon Compagna who was our school board and superintendent and secretary when the storm when Katrina hit well her grandchild was going to start that three-year-old program and I can remember her the week before Katrina hit running up and down the halls skipping and saying I'm going to Jojo Davies on Monday I'm going to Jojo Davies on Monday and uh, of course Katrina hit and she never got to that and now that young lady's in college so uh, it was quite a while back and that's why I remember so vividly when we were going to start it. So our three-year universal program we had, that was uh, that was not funded by the state, correct? No, it was the four-year-old is not was, funded. We by had the did state. it on our own. If yes, I remember. correct. Okay. Our current four-year-old universal program is not funded through the MFP, which is the primary funding formula for K to 12 education in the state. But we've taken a combination of grants our Head Start grant, which we're gonna approve tonight, and some Title I funds, some educational excellence funds, some funding from the HG community, and then we supplement it with local dollars to make it <clears throat> universal for all four-year-olds. So we've put together a combination of funding sources to make that possible. I guess I'm just hoping that um, since the legislature is, is getting in the into uh, early education more mm -hmm. that they may they may they may come up with a three-year universal program one day but I, that's, that's I guess likely, a possibility probably. for the future but as mm -hmm. of this point it's okay. not available okay thank you anyone else All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion passed. Okay, next item is a motion to approve the resolution of the DOTD regarding a traffic device at Paul Drive and Judge Perez Drive in Mira, Louisiana. This was a recommendation by the committee, and I think it was a unanimous recommendation. And before us, the minutes, I'll read the resolution. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, this was uh, recommended by the committee and it was unanimous and the re resolution reads as such. Whereas the St. Bernard Parish School Board respectfully requests the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development at a traffic light on the corner of Paul Drive and Judge Perez in Miro, Louisiana. And whereas Joseph Davies Elementary School is located on Mistru Street, which is accessed by Paul Drive and Judge Perez. And whereas this corner of Paul Drive and Judge Perez is a highly dangerous intersection during school hours, and whereas the St. Bernard Parish School Board de desires to promote the safety and welfare of the students in said area, and whereas when traffic on Paul Drive exit onto East Judge Perez Drive, LA 39, which is approximately one block from the major intersection of East Judge Perez Drive, 
LA 39 and Archbishop Hannon Boulevard, it is extremely difficult to access East, East Judge Perez Drive, LA 39 in either direction due to traffic volume that is backed up for the signal change at the Archbishop Hannon Boulevard intersection. Whereas the St. Bernard Parish School Board desires to provide a secure traveling environment for the citizens of St. Bernard Parish, and whereas this intersection does not have any signage stating that this area is a school zone, whereas the St. Bernard Parish School Board is requesting that when a traffic study is conducted that the traffic during school hours is considered, and whereas there has been a total of 30 accidents at this location in the, in the past five years. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the St. Bernard Parish School Board is hereby requesting the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development to expedite the addition of a traffic control device on the corner of Paul Drive and Judge Perez in Miro, Louisiana, near Joseph Davies Elementary School. And be it further resolved that the St. Bernard Parish School Board does hereby request the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development to provide school signage for a said area. Does the board wish to um, go into a joint acclamation mm -hmm. for this? Any discussion before we do that? Um, okay, Mr. Long. Who are we gonna send this to, uh, Doris? The, our legislative delegation only, or? We'll send a copy to the legislative delegation, but the primarily to the Department of Transportation and Development. Okay, okay, okay thank you. And, um, I understand also that the uh, council also passed a similar resolution oh. to add some kind of signage um, at that very same spot. And um, there was also a petition we mentioned at the committee meeting that Ms. Wanda Alcon had brought to our attention that over 400 residents signed who live in that area. So okay. Should we maybe send one, uh, forward this also to the council so they'll let, let them know what we're doing? Sure. Okay. could do that. Okay, any other discussion? Okay. All in favor of a joint acclamation, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the review of personnel changes for March 2021 and the additions from the committee meeting or <coughs> highlighted for you and I would just like to point out that we have I don't know Ms. Dysart will just mention these some additional retirements since the committee meeting and these are happening at this time of the year because um, as I was going to mention a little bit later on we have transfer day and when we do transfer day we advertise the uh, openings internally so we have requested of any of our employees who are considering retirement that they get those letters in to us prior to uh, the posting of vacancies so that every, all of our employees will be able to apply for those vacancies. And of course, we are now filming the um, school community, what we usually do as a banquet, but now we're doing as ceremonies. And in order to recognize these individuals, we have to have the information from them that they do plan to retire at the end of this year. So that's why you're seeing so many at this point. Thank you, Ms. Foche. Are there any questions? Yes. Oh, Mr. England? Yeah, I do see on the second page there, Ms. Shelby. Benazak is going to be retiring. It's a moment they had given me two hours later. Now, you'll be sure to miss Ms. Benazak. <laughs> <laughs> really an asset to this board and we thank you for that but we hate to see you go but if you change your mind you still got your 30 days <laughs> thank you Ms. Ben. thank you and also uh, I know we mentioned some of the retirees but as Miss England said we do have additional ones um, the retirees are Cecilia Marshall Ramona Williamson Michael Bloom George Chauvin Brenda Bowyer Peggy Schwartz Ronald Catagno and the, the new ones on our list tonight are June Truitt and Cherie Bowen and uh, Rachel Welts and Deidre Groby and Shelby Benesak. 
So we want to wish each and every one of them a very happy retirement and um, to say thank you very much for all that they've done for our system. Um, it seems like Deidre's been with us for, oh, gee. Her mom was with us, and then yes. she came. You know, I think her mom was still with us, and then Deidre started working for us, and she's been around at Chairman High School, you know, for a very long time. And then Shelby, I know Mr. England mentioned you, and um, you have been incredible, and um, we appreciate you being available at any time and all times to the superintendent and to this board, and um, we are going to miss you. Not only have you been a, a wonderful secretary, but a great friend to all of us, and we will miss you. Happy it's retirement, okay. though. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I would just like to add, you know, we talked about the other retirees at the committee meeting at the new ones. June Truitt is a pre-K teacher at Davies Elementary who will be retiring. Sherry Bowen is a third grade teacher at Shelmet Elementary mm -hmm. who will be retiring as well. And then of course, as we said, Deidre Groby has been at Shelmet High School a very long time, not only as the, um, I guess, the secretary with the most longevity, but she does a lot of the scheduling. Uh, she has a unique position there which is going to be difficult to fill and train a new person on and she's been a, a tremendous asset to to the high school and then last but not least as we talked about shelby i uh, just don't know what we're going to do and it's fast approaching and it's almost like an avoidance thing what do we <laughs> maybe if we don't think about it it won't really happen but um she is going to be leaving at the end of june and uh We'll just have to get used to someone new at this point, which will be very difficult to do. So she leaves a big void to fill, and we'll just have to be very patient with whoever comes along after, after her. Anyone else? Mr. Long. I, I'd just like to pity, piggyback on what Ms. Dor uh, Doris said about Shelby. She, she's been a, a fantastic uh, secretary for the superintendent and for the board and uh, I mean it seemed like just recently we got used to pronouncing her, her, her new last name <laughs> and, uh, now we have to get used to a new name <laughs> but uh, thank you Shelby for doing a great job thank you, Jeff. Mr. Campbell yes Deidre good this is the second secretary in just recent months because Sharon Cooper. Yes. Uh, also, Leaving a both of those there. were former students of mine. Oh. And, <laughs> and I wish him the best. Uh, two great kids. And Miss Shelby. She would run errands for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Warner. Yeah, uh, congratulations to all our retirees and to you too, Shelby. Thank you for being there. Thank you for your service. You. We really appreciate you. And enjoy your retirement. <laughs> Mr. Egan. Shelby. Yes. <clears throat> if I call you up the end of July and ask you when the meeting is. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to take offense to that. You I will help me. <laughs> Let me tell you, you help me more than you can imagine. Thank you for everything. And thank you for all your services. Not just to me. To keep me straight. Thank you again. Anyone else? Well, happy retirement to all the retirees. And Ms. White? Yes, I also want to thank Shelby because I was new at all of this, and every time I need help, it's like, help me, Shelby, and she's <laughs> always there. And she said, any time, any time. And she sure meant what she said. So I, I really appreciate her. God bless you. Anyone else? Thank you. Um, and we, I know we mentioned, we took a moment of silence for Patricia Garcia, who passed. Um, but just to mention that she was also supported the um, support person of the year this year too. 
Mm -hmm. She will be missed. Okay. All right, next item on the agenda is a motion to approve the administration's recommendation for a multi-insurer layered coverage for property insurance. There was a recommendation by the committee and with us tonight uh, we have Mr. Fernandez and of course one of the Mr. Clements. <laughs> Good evening. Mr. Long. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, recommendation from the committee. Price still the same. Okay, there's a motion by Mr. Long. Is there a second? Okay, seconded by Mr. England. Is there any, dis are there any questions or uh, any discussion at this time? I just checked with them and the price didn't change, so we have to go with this. <laughs> Good deal, thank you, Mr. Warner. <laughs> any, anyone else? Okay, there's a motion on the floor and a second and I also have to say this, these were all the lowest bids that they could acquire for us that to cover all of our properties. And that's why it was multi-layered. Okay, anyone else? <coughs> okay, there's a motion in, in a second. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with us tonight. Okay, next item is a motion to approve the results of the AP prep workbooks in math intervention software, RFPs. And there was a recommendation by the committee so moved. Motion by Mr. Warner, second by Ms. Lemoyne. Any discussion or questions? I know Ms. Halton was here. No questions? No discussion? Okay, we had that at the committee meeting. So all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is a motion to approve the administration's request to advertise for large food service equipment. There was a recommendation by the committee. There's a motion by Ms. Acevedo. Is there a second? Mr. Long, seconds. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is a motion to approve the administration's request to advertise for the official journal there was a recommendation by the committee there's a motion by mr england second by mr campbell any discussion there being none all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. any opposition motion carries next item is a motion to approve the administration's request to advertise for bid on vehicle painting and repairs Still there move. was a recommendation by the committee was that you, Mr. Warner? Yeah, it was okay. Me. Motion by Mr. Warner. Second of uh, Ms. White. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion? Saying five by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is a motion to approve the administration's request to advertise for bid for gas, diesel, and other fluids. There was a recommendation by the committee. So moved. Motion by Ms. Lemoyne, second by Mr. Long. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is a motion to approve the administration's request to advertise for bid for paper, cleaning, and custodial supplies. Mm -hmm. Motion by Ms. Acevedo, seconded by Mr. Warner. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. Next item is a motion to amend the 2021 general fund budget to include stipends for employees. There was a recommendation by the committee. Does Joint the board wish to go? Yeah. Joint acclamation. Okay. Before we go to the joint acclamation, any discussion? Ms. Boche? Uh, I just want to make it clear that we're paying the stipends out of our general fund monies um, and we are in order to uh, accumulate the 2.3 million dollars necessary to pay these one-time stipends we're able to move general fund expenditures related to the COVID pandemic into a special federal funding to be covered by a federal funding grant 
that we have received from um, U.S. DOE uh, through the State Department of Education. So the stipends are being paid with general fund monies, and I just want to make that clear. Uh, it's $2,000 for each full-time certificated employee, $1,500 for each full-time non-certificated employee, and those stipends will be dispersed if you approve them tonight on the next paycheck, which will be the March 31st uh, payday. So it will be very shortly in this coming week. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Ms. Voce. Mr. England? Yeah, thank you, Ms. Dyson. It's well deserved, you know, for our employees, for the hard work that they did for this past year. And, uh, and as far as uh, I wish it could be more. I know mm -hmm. if we could get more, it would be more. And so, uh, but uh, again, for their hard work, it's it's unbelievable what, what they went through. Mm -hmm. I don't think, even after Katrina, it's, it's almost mad to say even mm -hmm. what happened after Katrina. So, um, Thank you. That's all the employees. That's bus drivers. That's secretaries. That's the teachers. You know, just go down the line. They, they were all there. Mm -hmm. So thank you all again. Ditto to everything Mr. England said. Um, they are, are employees and staff members and teachers and administration went over and above the normal to. Um, to make school happen after the pandemic. And um, they were on the front lines, so that's for sure. And we appreciate it. And as you said, I wish we had more too, but um, this is just a, a thank you from, from all of us, the one-time stipend, and it's very, very well deserved. Anyone else? Mr. Long? We're, we're so fortunate to have hard work and dedicated employees, and they deserve it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Long. Anyone else? Okay. All in favor of the joint acclamation to grant the stipends to our employees, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. Okay. Right. <clears throat> next item on the agenda are items to be placed on the agenda of the next committee meeting. Anyone? Okay. And you always have up until the next committee meeting to add items to the agenda. Next item, superintendent's recommendations. Uh, just a few announcements. Um, next week, next Friday, is already Good Friday. We're coming close to the Easter holiday. And just to remind everyone that the holiday will be Easter, uh, Easter Monday and Good Friday. So the students will be off next Friday for Good Friday, the Easter weekend, and then Easter Monday. And classes will resume um, on Tuesday, April 5th. Um, along with that, I just wanted to make mention of our Special Olympics that we normally would have around this time of year. And I know that just like many, many other activities that we're not able to hold, we cannot hold the Special Olympics this year because of the social distancing and CDC regulations. That specific event requires very close contact of our Special Olympians with their buddies and such. But our pledge is that we will definitely, this coming school year, uh, make sure that we are going to schedule it and have it uh, this coming school year, um, assuming the world gets right side up again, which we're hoping that happens over the summer and we can have a semi-normal school year um, for this coming year. Um, the Methodist Foundation, which was mentioned in Super News, uh, their first contribution of the 500 boxes of food, they pledged to do that over three time periods, and the second one is going to be next week for that Easter break in each of our elementary schools well, we will split those 500 boxes up among our elementary schools and they will be dispersed to the families at each of the elementary schools who then qualify for that particular donation. Um, the staffing that we mentioned a little bit earlier, transfer day, um, we have tomorrow we will advertise internal openings 
of what we know will be available for this coming year and our current employees will have the first opportunity to apply for those openings we will have that week after we come back from Easter interviews during that week and eligible employees will be able to make the transfers they wish at that time after that is filled during transfer day for our teachers then we will look to see what we think our openings will still be for the coming academic year and we'll host a job fair and right now we're planning to do it on Saturday March 8th I mean May 8th I'm sorry <laughs> Saturday May 8th which will be our job fair last year we did it virtually probably will may do the same thing we haven't made the final um, we haven't put the final details together yet with that but interested um, people from outside of our school system will be eligible to apply for teaching positions that we know will be open and that day will be Mar May 8th Saturday May 8th prior to that please contact our it will be on our website and please contact the personnel office you can then see the posted um, vacancies and see the process to put in an application and be called for an interview at that particular time okay thank you Ms. Voce anyone else well on behalf of the board uh, we want to wish all of our students and staff members a very safe and a happy and blessed Easter Move. Yeah, sure. And Mr. Campbell makes a motion to adjourn, seconded by Ms. Acevedo. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 The meeting's now adjourned. Thank you and good night. Good night.